I guess then the challenge, we, we both acknowledge we want to work together, but can we really make a difference, do you think? What can, what, what can we realistically achieve? Is this the start of something big, or is this um, well, an attempt to put another plaster on the problem? I think we know in 2011 that uh, this is the um, diabetes epidemic that has been predicted for so long and numbers are escalating at really dangerous levels now. The numbers in New Zealand um, are presently sitting uh, somewhere around the quarter of a million mark. Within the next decade, that's going to double to half a million people, half a million New Zealanders with a chronic condition for which there's no cure. What's worse is that there's another 500,000 people beyond them who are heading towards diabetes and this is largely associated with what's now called the obesity epidemic. More than half the heart attacks in this country and strokes come from diabetes. A lot of the kidney failure comes from diabetes. So if we can control diabetes, if we can prevent people getting diabetes in the first place, then that's obviously the, the big objective. Mm. And that's to do with preventative measures. And again, it's the same recipe. It's to do with, with better nutrition, right quantities, right foods, and more physical activity. And it's not that difficult. The difficult part's just getting the first habits to change. But if you don't make those first changes, then one thing you can be really sure of, nothing's going to happen. You'll stay as you are. One of the real questions emerging out of this um, diabetes pandemic is that um, whilst for probably eight or nine generations, life expectancy has increased with the help of science and modern medicine and so on, Diabetes is going to turn that round and our children will not have the same life expectancy that we have. And we've got people now who've done our program, were seriously overweight, were considering stomach stapling, and they're now blooming athletes. They're doing round the Taupo bike race and the like. Now, I'm not saying you're going to end up like that, but we can make a big difference for you in your life. We can help you. I mean, I think one of the one of the things that attracts um, uh, Diabetes uh, New Zealand Auckland to to this program, Aspire for Life, is that um, you seem to have a determination to create self-managing people. Take three. <laughs> you did warn me. Didn't you? <laughs>